Welcome back, Tulk family, and thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Talk the Talk. I'm your host, Desh Palay Bechen, and joining me today is Corey Hetcher, and she is the service manager at East Val Middleburg. Now, you've heard me right. She's traveled so far just to come and meet me. <laughs> so excited. She's also a finalist for the Motoring Woman of the Year Awards 2023. And what an amazing woman she is. It is so humbling and, and just so refreshing uh, and encouraging as well to have women join this movement and understand and you know really just recognize that this movement is not about winning. It's not about just them being recognized, but also about paying it forward and to educate, uplift, and most importantly, encourage other women in the motoring trade. Um, and accept exceptionally good service manager like Corey achieves a hard-working, productive and effective workforce that punches above its weight in its performance. Um, Corey believes that the key to successful management is the relationship between the manager and staff. Good relationships are based on trust commitment and engagement and a service manager's essential role is to build these relationships for the benefit um, of the department so that the tasks that are set are completed with enthusiasm effectively on time and with the energy to do more um, as i said earlier on she is such a amazing and incredible person i've gotten to know her and her lovely husband who accompanied her um, all this way um, and it was just so amazing to get to know them so without further ado let's welcome corey and as always this interview is proudly brought to you by Seriti Solutions and Evo Finance Bank. Hello, Corey. How are you? Good. Thank you so much. I'm like so obsessed with the fact that you drove so far. And we're having a lot of these ladies coming from all over the country. And it really is testament to the fact that we're doing something right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so thank you very much. So, Corey, um, congratulations on your nomination. Thank you. And um, I think your dealer principal, apparently, or the owner of Eastfall, nominated you. So thank you, Mr. His name? Clive. Okay, Mr. Clive, for this nomination. And um, tell us about your journey so we can get some votes for you. <laughs> I started um, working at a Ford dealership fresh out of school in 1995. Wow as a switchboard operator okay. and then worked my way up through debtors, creditors. I uh, worked at the parts department for a while and then ended up in the workshop as mm -hmm. a service advisor and went through the ranks of service advisor warranties and then about 15 years ago I was appointed service manager. Wow, okay and how's your journey been in the role of service manager have you um, seen changes transformation taking place in terms of women being more respected in this role? Yes, women are these days more respected. I mean, about 10 years ago, they would have looked at you funny uh -huh. being a <laughs> woman, being a service manager. You still get it sometimes that uh -huh. the, the women and that is still looking at you funny. <laughs> but I always say, um, be confident, mm -hmm. know what you're talking about, mm -hmm. and then they'll, they'll under accept you and understand where you're coming from. Absolutely. I mean, it's we learn to be what we are. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not that this position was given to us. Yeah. I mean, I had to go through the ranks. I had to learn stuff to get where I am today. Absolutely. And I mean, for females, it is a little bit difficult to get where we need to be. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we are yeah, and we need to use it to the best of our advantage. Yeah, definitely. Now, I know off air you said you sang praises about everything that we do in terms to empower women. But um, how do you feel about this nomination and how do you feel about the fact that we are creating a little family for us ladies in the motoring trade? I think it's, I don't want to say fantastic, it's awesome mm -hmm. because you guys are giving us a voice oh. and it's that we females, sometimes we do feel alone mm -hmm. because it's it's male-orientated world we are. Mm -hmm. So this is just nice to see 
women are looking out for each other. And we are. And, and it's making it for younger women as well, that they know there is women, we can move in this direction, we can go there, and there's someone that's going to look after us. Uh, and we're going to look after each other. Yes, that's we right. need to. And we have wonderful people like um, MFC, Netbank, Evo, Sariti, and actually the dealer network, um, and like in South Africa, my dealer network, I've got um, dealerships in the Motors Group, Barlow World, Super Group, um, you know, Eastvald, Westvald, I mean, everybody, mm -hmm. all these groups have come together. And sorry if I haven't mentioned your names, groups, but Hatfield Motors as well, I must mention that name. So many that have come to the forefront to say, listen, we stand with you and we are going to achieve this equality that you are fighting for mm -hmm. and the voice that you want. want We're going yes. to be there to support you, which is great. Why do you think, though, um, that women do well in our trade? We are women. <laughs> we, Short we and know, sweet. We know what we want. I mean, and <laughs> not I mean, all the time, but <laughs> most of the time. But we are, I think, much more prepared, uh -huh. and we listen differently. Mm -hmm. We've we've got empathy, and we've got a little bit of understanding where they are coming from, and then we're pretty. <laughs> makes it a little bit easier but, but I think it's nice our, to look at yeah and our compassion because we love what we're doing mm -hmm. I mean if we didn't love what we're doing we won't be yeah right I love I love everything that you just said especially not the pretty part <laughs> but especially and it's been said I, I often ask this question so I know what the answers, kind of what the answers are going to be. It's always the attention to detail. We are empathetic. We are compassionate and considerate and patient and tolerant. But there's, I love what you said. We listen differently. Mm. It's not that a man doesn't listen. It's just that women listen differently. Okay. We're actually not just listening, we're hearing. Mm. I, if I, I think I'm saying it the wrong way around, but anyway, I get what you're saying. It's very important. So, as a service manager, or not just as a service manager, as a person working in the motoring trade, tell me about a problem that you've solved uh, in a unique and an unusual way. Um, you know, where uh, the outcome was positive, or, you know, the reason I ask this question is for all the ladies that want to be in your position, maybe they're going to encounter mm. a similar problem and I believe that we do not live long enough to make our own mistakes. So, <laughs> help us out. <laughs> um, it was a small farming community. I was about a service manager for about two years and I was called to the front. There was an oldish wimmy, a farmer, uh -huh. who wanted to speak to the service manager. So. Uh -huh. I rocked up there and he looked at me and he goes like, Popla, jij gaan mij niet kan helpen. And I said to him, sir, just give me an opportunity, explain to me, maybe I can help you. And he looked me up and down and he said, no, and I said to him, please just give me the opportunity. If I can't, then I'll get someone to help. And he explained the technical things around his vehicle and I gave him the answers. And the way he looked at me was like, how can I say it? It was like he understood that I knew what I was talking Absolutely. about. Absolutely. And he didn't look at me at that moment as she's a female. Yeah. He looked at me as an equal understanding a vehicle, yeah. understanding a technical concern. Mm -hmm. And I mean, he was like, he told everyone, you must go there, she'll help you, she knows what I she's doing. It. And you need to brace that and you need to understand that you are, you are going to get the oaks that's going to look at you differently. Mm -hmm. it is, it's a man's world. Right. But you need to empower yourself by knowledge mm -hmm. and show that you know what you're talking about. So absolutely. So these young guys out there, uh, if an Omi could do that and like look at her differently, then you have no excuse. No, they don't have no excuse. <laughs> um, for you, Corey, how do you measure success? Especially moving up the ranks in the motoring trade, it's not an easy feat. How did you do this? And, and how do you measure success? Success for me is learning opportunities. Mm -hmm. What you gain out of each and every experience. It's not bottom lines and think, yeah, they do count mm -hmm. GPs and sales and things like that. but. Each and everything that happens with you in a day happens for a reason. And you learn out of that. And you need to take the positive out of that. Mm -hmm. And that positive, you need to work for yourself. Yeah. 
and then work down with your staff. This is what happened, this is how we do it, get everyone involved in that positive, because you need to be positive. Yes. I mean, the world outside is, is bad after yeah. COVID and things like that. So learning opportunities right. and taking it one day at a time. Right. And I that think it's the third time I'm saying this today, and it's only because this is my Facebook post <laughs> this morning, which you're not on Facebook, <laughs> but I said that success is walking from failure to failure without the loss of enthusiasm yes. uh, is so important. What is Corey's management style? Firstly, respect. Mm. From cleaner to CEO, there's got to be respect. I mean, otherwise it's not going to work. And then I think you need to, your staff needs to understand we're working as a team together. Yes positive attitude mm -hmm. and empower them so they can work to the best of their abilities mm -hmm. Absolutely. and you've got to have an open door they need to come and have a chat with you and understand why we're doing this why we're moving in this direction why things happen mm -hmm. and you need to tell them this is the way we want to work and this is the way moving forward yes, yes. and positivity is is the main thing I mean otherwise we're not gonna get it done yeah uh, what is your favorite um, thing about the Ford brand? The Buckies. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we are a Bucky market. Right. I must say the Buckies are ex extremely nice. I'm driving a, a Ranger now. Which is back to my Amarok, next it's, to my Amarok. Yeah, right? so. <laughs> and all the inventions that Ford's got, I mean, we've got a Bucky with a 10 speed gearbox. Mm -hmm. I mean, single turbo, bi turbo. So, yeah, Ford, I've been with them for my life. So. My blood is blue. I, gosh, but if I had a rant for every time I heard that from my Ford people, <laughs> then it would be like I'd be a millionaire yeah. now. But I must say to you that Ford is one of the brands that are so, you know, they're so amazing. They are such catalysts for change. They are so, um, you know, strong in terms of championing for mm. the woman. I think the Ranger lady is a female. Yeah. She's the ambassador. Yes. Then we had Yandiswa mm. uh, that's heading woman in, in Ford. Yeah. Uh, she was one of our um, one of our winners in oh, the past okay. year. Uh, yeah, so Ford is so amazing mm. in terms of championing for us yeah, women. Yeah, like they are. Yeah. Um, any words of advice for a young woman that would like to be a service manager? <laughs> You can do it. Just go out there, show them you can do it. Mm -hmm. And be real, be 100% who you are. Do not change for anyone. Yes. Just be who you are yes. and go for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's fantastic to, to get there and to see where you started and where you ended. It's, right. it's fantastic to get there and mm -hmm. just go for it. No one can say you can't do it. Right. So, <clears throat> Corey, how do you handle negative criticism? listen to it firstly mm -hmm. understand why uh -huh. why they said that why are they thinking in that way and then change it into a positive right and don't let that break you mm -hmm. no one can break you you can only break yourself yes so whatever comes out of it make it in a positive and move forward mm -hmm. and learn out of it i mean if you're not going to learn out of it then then you're going to be stuck mm -hmm. so be positive I think also another quote that I just remembered now is exactly what you said or in line with what you said. Isn't it the worst type of slavery when you allow other people to determine your happiness? Yeah. Isn't that just what it is when you allow people to determine in which way your future is mm. going? So with that, I would like to say thank you very much. You have been a great inspiration but you brought something along with you that have changed my life forever and i love him to bits that's her <laughs> husband who's been in the trade for 55 years and i mean that is gold right there so watch the space i'm going to be interviewing soon <laughs> Thank you, Glory. Thank, thank you, you so very, much. Thank you very, very much. Okay, you're welcome. Thanks. Viewers, thank you so much for watching, commenting, and sharing our interviews and our content. Our nonprofit company is the Motoring Woman of the Year Awards, powered by MFC and Evo by NetBank, and the Talk the Talk Studios, powered by Siriti Solutions, are aimed at recognizing and celebrating the woman of motoring South Africa, women just like Corey over here. 
we are not just telling stories we are changing lives and together we aim to empower and uplift the women of our trade for those of you that are searching for your new ride please visit www.otto.evo.africa. We have thousands of vehicles on sale for you to choose from and we only advertise on behalf of reliable and trustworthy MFC accredited dealerships. This car listing portal is incredibly user-friendly and you can also find vehicle reviews and car maintenance tips and advice or courtesy of Talk the Talk Studios. Ladies, I just want to end this lovely session by saying that everything we do and say has consequences, whether it be big or small. Um, so we should always act with dignity and respect for others and yourself. It is so important to think before you act and listen before you speak because your actions do not only affect yourself but it also affects others around you you get to choose whether you leave a positive or a negative impression on other people and the environment around you so choose wisely because actions can never be undone in words can never be unspoken and remember, the question should never be, who's going to let me? It should always be, who's going to stop me?